When I started learning how to code back in 2017 and tried to get my first job as a web developer, it was really common and fairly easy or easier to get a job as a front end developer. And I think that the industry is changing a little bit. I'm not saying that there isn't a need for front end developers and I'm not saying that it's still not a good path, but I am thinking that it's changing and maybe soon it might not be the best option for most people to try to get a shoe in in the industry we should start focusing more on being full stack developers and learning how to code as a full stack developer rather than just focusing on front end. And I've jotted down some bullet points for this video to kind of talk about some of the reasons why I think we're going in that direction. I do wanna say first that I think that it's still good to get started with front end. I think that that's the easier way into learning how to code. Even if you become a full stack developer, you're still gonna to have to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you're still gonna to have to learn about the front end. Anyone who works in web development is gonna need those skills and that usually comes with learning front-end development. As you continue to learn, you're gonna pick up more things along the way, but everyone's gonna need that to begin with. And unless you specialize in certain areas of front-end development, I don't think that UI development is gonna be enough to get you a job anymore. You're gonna need some serious CSS skills if you want to make a career out of just being a UI developer. As a little personal anecdote, I'll tell you this, that every job I've had where I've been a front-end developer or I got hired as a front-end developer, I eventually became full stack because it's just kind of how things go. When you join a development team, you might start off strictly as a front-end developer, but little by little, if you want to learn more and you want to grow, once you get familiar with the code base and you start taking on more challenging tasks, you'll more than likely become full stack. At least that's been my experience. All right, that's enough about me and this intro. Let me talk about the reasons why I think that focusing on front-end development might just not be enough if you want to break into the industry, especially as a self-taught programmer. If you've been learning how to code recently, you've probably seen that there's a lot of tools out there that are making front-end development a lot easier. Things like ChatGPT, Cursor AI, Vercel V0 is a big one. And a lot of new component libraries and UI libraries are also making front-end development a lot easier. With Vercel V0, you can pretty much just prompt it to build out whatever you want it to, and it'll spit out React code that looks pretty good. I spent the money on Tailwind UI because I I like their designs and there's a lot of stuff in there that I can just copy and paste that looks really good, that's already built out for me. And then I can wire everything up and not have to worry about designing and laying out all these user interfaces. So I'm one of those people that has gone from being a front-end developer who really enjoyed working with HTML and CSS and building out all the user interface to being more of a full stack developer who doesn't really want to touch CSS anymore and opts to pay for services that build the stuff for them or already have pre-built components and user interfaces like Tailwind UI. And then you got a bunch of different component libraries. One of the ones that I personally like is Daisy UI, but there's so many other ones out there. Years ago, we were pretty much limited to Bootstrap, but that's not the case anymore. And every front-end framework seems to have a UI library or component library built for those frameworks. So we really don't have to build these things from scratch anymore. And there's literally a component library for every single framework out there. So the, all these tools combined, when you start using them together, for instance, something that I've done recently when I'm trying to build out user interfaces, if I'm not just using Tailwind UI's components that they have already built for me, I go in and I will take the components from like Daisy UI and I'll dump them in the chat GPT and I'll be like, hey, look, can you build this thing using these components for this page and I kind of want it to look similar to this and I'll even put screenshots in there. Usually it gives me good enough code to where I usually will only have to tweak it a little bit and even sometimes I won't even have to change it at all because it just looks good enough. And that would be a task for a front-end developer. That would be a task for someone whose job is to focus on building those UI elements, but it's not really the case anymore. And since that's kind of starting to become a thing of the past, it feels like front-end developers are also starting to become a thing of the past. And I know that the term front-end developer is kind of broad because like I mentioned at the beginning, there's UI developers that only focus on the user interface and front-end developers have always been kind of more of like a middle-end developer, but that UI aspect of it is starting to feel like it's fading away and front-end developers are gonna be focusing more on things like consuming the APIs and things that are more technical and more complex and complicated 
recommended than just laying out HTML and CSS on the page because we have all these tools that are making that stuff a lot easier and just less work. So if that aspect of front end development starts to become eliminated by tools like AI, little by little, we're just not gonna need developers to do that stuff because a decent full stack developer should be capable of being able to build out UIs with these tools. And if you have any doubt, go try out some of these tools for yourself and you'll see that they're pretty capable of doing the job of a front end developer. And the truth is that most of these AI tools feel pretty capable of doing the job of any developer until you start getting into the more complicated stuff and until you start needing to be more well-rounded. You're also seeing it a lot with jobs. You're seeing that more jobs are looking for people that are more full stack capable. Even in front end development focused job postings, you'll often see listings of the back end technologies or the frameworks that they're using because they want front end developers who have worked with certain back ends before because they'll be able to better navigate their way around the project and they'll understand the folder structure and the way that the projects are set up and how they work. And that only comes from understanding how the full app application works and understanding enough of the back end to be good at doing the front end. And while you can pick a lot of this stuff up, once you've been in a code base for a while, it just makes it that much easier if you're already familiar with the stack. It's a little bit of an anecdote, but I do feel that the industry is shifting that way. And I know that when I've been part of the interview process and we've been looking for developers, anyone who is familiar with the full stack that we work with is gonna stand out more than someone who hasn't worked with the backend technologies that we are using, even if the job is only for a front-end developer. Unless that front-end developer is really, really good and they have a lot of things that they've done that help them stand out, if two candidates are equal in front-end development skills and one of them has experience experience with the back end that we work in and the other one doesn't, who do you think we're going to pick? We're obviously going to pick the person that has experience with our stack because it's just going to be that much easier to onboard them and have them get up and running quicker. I remember when I was just focused on front end development, when we would work with other teams and when we would have to work with more developers or contractors or people that I wasn't familiar working with that we had to onboard and get them familiar with our code base. I remember when I only knew about the front end, it was really hard for me to kind of troubleshoot things. It was hard for me to communicate issues that I was having and it was hard for me to explain our code base because I was so pigeonholed and focused into like one small aspect of our application. And I think that that's the problem with just focusing on front end is that when you are a front end developer and you only focus on front end development, when those meetings happen with the architects or the lead developers that where they really start talking about very technical things and you just don't know what they're talking about because when you're only focused on HTML and CSS and some of the front end stuff and you don't understand the big picture of how everything works together, you are not really going to be well suited to contribute or even kind of navigate someone else who's getting familiar with your code base around because you're just so limited to your knowledge on how everything works. And a couple other reasons that go beyond just like the code that you'll be working in and the team that you'll be on and understanding the application that you're going to be working in is more about the way that the job job markets moving and the way that it's so competitive now because there's no way to sugarcoat this. The job market is tough and the competition is getting fierce, especially with a lot of the tech layoffs. We're starting to get more experienced developers in the job market and then we're getting more college graduates and boot camp graduates in the job market. So as a self-taught developer, you're dealing with a lot of competition. And if you think about college graduates and you think about boot camp graduates, most boot camps focus on full stack development. And a four year college degree is going to teach you everything you need to know about software development and how to build a full stack application, or at least what goes into building a full stack application. So if you're only focusing on the front end and you're not focusing on the server side, you're not focusing on databases, you're not focusing on how to implement all those things, you're going to be much lower in the competition pool because of the fact that all the other people that are in this industry and in this job market right now are gonna be more well-rounded and more full stack. And it's one of the big reasons why I think that maybe front-end development is kind of on its way out. So I think the best bet moving forward for anyone who's learning how to code right now is start off with the front-end. Everybody's gonna to have to learn it like I mentioned earlier, but focus more on learning full stack development. Once you feel comfortable with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you've worked with the front-end framework, start incorporating some 
server side stuff, start incorporating some database stuff, start learning about DevOps and how to host your website, diversify your skill set, and start learning about more of the things that are going to make you more well rounded and stand out as someone who's trying to break into the industry. Because honestly, I don't think that front end development is enough anymore unless you really specialize on certain aspects of front end development or get really, 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 really good with a certain library or a certain framework and really stand out amongst all the competition that's out there, it's going to be a lot harder moving forward for people who are just strictly focused on front end development. And it's just not going to be as easy as it once was to get a career as a front end developer. Again, this is my own personal opinion. And there may be some anecdotes that I threw in here that might have some bias because it's just the way that I'm looking at the industry. So take this with a grain of salt, but I don't think I'm too far off on this one. Because if you are someone who's learning how to code right now, I think that it's going to benefit you a lot more if you try to learn more full stack and try to learn as much as you can to make yourself a more well-rounded individual. I could be wrong, but if you're someone who's learning how to code right now and you were thinking that maybe focusing on front-end development was gonna be enough, I do think it's enough to get started, but I don't think it should be your primary focus. You should try to make yourself a more well-rounded developer. You should try to focus on diversifying your skill set. You should try to focus on learning as much as you can because in this industry, you're gonna be learning all the time. And if you're gonna wanna break in and get that first job, you're gonna have to make yourself stand out from all the competition. Just remember that this industry who excels and who gets ahead are the people who continue to learn. Going into this, you should know that you're gonna be learning all the time. As someone who's probably getting started right now, you've probably realized how much learning there is to do and the learning never stops. So even if you do start off as a front end developer, that's fine but eventually you're gonna to wanna to become full stack like I mentioned, so embrace that learning and get ahead of everyone else by learning as much as you can and continuing to grow your skill set and continuing to make yourself better so that you do stand out. And regardless of whether or not the industry is shifting into more full stack development and front end developers are becoming a thing of the past, that doesn't matter because if you start off as a front end developer, you should continue to learn and grow and eventually become a full stack developer because it's just gonna be better for your resume, it's gonna be better for your pocket, and it's gonna be better for you overall because you'll be less bored working in the same stuff over and over. All right, with all that said, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.